the one thing that I continue to cling to is uh, the exterior might not have exactly what I wanted, but the view remains the same. Hello, hello. Hey, where you been? Hey Siri, what's the date today? It's Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. Mm, important. Spring. <laughs> So since the last video, I have finished the front of my house, the walkway. And Meatball's private bathroom courtyard. It's the private area that I built in the front of the house. Meatball has his own fire hydrant. Eventually these porta carpets are going to be the privacy that I'm looking for for this area. It's, it's quite lovely all right front of the house however what i call the back of the house is was has been will be right now a disappointment every time something got slashed off of the budget it was here initial sketching this was a lap pool and one of those options i didn't want to lose is that's a pool then a deck <laughs> and then nothing so that's what it is it's nothing i didn't have them finish this i painted the house in a way did not finish it in a way with an idea what was going to happen and it didn't but i still am committed to having this deck a quote Seventeen to twenty thousand dollars to do this lumber. If you don't know, has doubled, if not tripled, for some boards. Okay, that's not happened, but I still want to do it. So I am going to build this entire deck myself out of pallets, out of scrap wood, by being resourceful, by being creative, by being thrifty. That I made my own deck. Wouldn't it be that much better? Wouldn't that be? Wouldn't that actually be more valuable than $17,000? I say yes. Chip, chip, chip. Chip, you want a peanut? You want a peanut? Look, Chip, here's a peanut. Come here, sweetie. Come get a peanut. So welcome to the next story. Welcome to the next chapter. I don't know if this is going to happen in one video. My goal is in two weeks. I'm going to have a substantial platform. So I live near the granite yards, right? Where they have all the countertops. Four or 5,000 pounds of marble need to be on a specific palette, a specific type of wood. So that's what we're doing. Is it dumpster diving if you don't actually have to get in? I brought a hammer and a crowbar. Look at this. These are gonna be my steps. The police would call it stealing pallets. I call it reclaimed wood. Mine. So only so much will fit in my Jeep. There's been some progress. It's slow. It's a combination of time, money, supplies. So I picked up some things, some, here's some wood for me to work today because I have to s stake them into the ground. Apologize, I have my aligners on in. Heavy, uh, heavy, awkward, awkward, heavy, heavy, awkward.
I've spent less than $250 and I have this. I don't know what the total is going to be, but I know it's not going to be $17,000. It's also made out of pallets. It's a lot by yourself. What I do is I secure it with one screw on one side. I have mulch underneath because it's pliable and then I find the balance and go for it. interesting new private view of the lake an unutilized section of my property biting my nails <laughs> so uh, here whoa what do you think of that huh what do you think about this it comes with sadness that i don't travel anymore but it comes with gladness that i've taken my travel points and transferred to Amazon and purchased furniture. Oh, what's that mean? That means that $400 out of pocket, transfer, transferring all those points to Amazon allowed me to get an outdoor section hole, a chase lounge, and two indoor outdoor carpets. Not bad. You know, I frame everything as I used to take vacations, now I have a vacation home. I feel like today it's all coming together. I just got my last rug. I've put every piece of this furniture together and that Chase Lounge is the last piece. Oh, it's the last piece, all right. Speaking of peace, I have great peace that five weeks ago, possibly four, I started this project and all the little elements have come together. Oh, I'm still working on having a canopy put on top, but for all relaxation purposes, my deck is done. There's symbolism to this kicking my feet up. Oh. Twenty foot deck for two hundred and seventy five dollars. The furniture, the rugs, travel points because sadly I don't travel, but gladly. Why would I? Still to come, an overhead canopy. Still to come, a platform that takes you back to a um, food source green space. Yeah, this was nothing. And now it's something. <laughs> I touched here I made better I've had people in my life that everything they touch they made worse so make better mm -hmm.